Jan Hammer. This is the original Miami Vice theme song. This is a CBT guitar lesson for Matt. And Matt, when you first uh, messaged me on this, um, you didn't send a link, so I was like, no biggie. Uh, but I, the, I realized there was a lot of versions, so the one I went to initially had really no guitar, it was all synth. And it made sense to me, because Jan Hammer, right? Um, and then actually, um, someone I had mentioned on my Facebook that um, how cool it was they're going to be doing the CBT lesson and taking these synth parts, putting them to guitar. Um, and someone had sent a link to a uh, version. I clicked on it, and it was actually the original one, which has a lot of guitar in it. So, um, I mean, I, the solo stuff sounds like synth, but it's got a guitar sound to it. But, anyways, that's why I had mentioned tapping when I first talked to you because if I was going to be, you know, trying to simulate the the synth on the first version that I heard I'm, I was hearing tapping but this is the actual the real deal here the tuning is ironically this is interesting it's down a whole step so um, it's called D standard so everything's still you know you can still play like if you were in standard tuning but it's in your edits here you know how to tune basically uh, this top string is a D and uh, every string is tuned down a whole step okay so let's jump in. Really cool. The soloing in here is um, ab abstract because it is uh, synth, uh, different instrument, you know. So the phrasing of the stuff is really, really cool. Um, so the guitar, section one, four seconds in on this. Open D, 2G. And uh, technically this would be called a C5 power chord, but I usually will just call it D5 as a point of reference most people are used to. Uh, that than thinking of chords in an alternate tuning. So you're gonna palm mute twice, then don't palm mute. Okay, do that two times. So one, two, lift, one, two, lift. And then um, then you'll do eight times palm muted, and then eight times not palm muted. And then a quick rest. So, and palm muting, I'm sure you know how to do it. Just Put the palm right along next to the bridge here to give you a good chunk sound, right? Um, then is it that little short rest, and then 10 seconds in, this rhythm continues 2A, 4D, and you know, this is obviously actual guitar um, in the original. It's a, we're gonna call it a B5 power chord, 2A, 4D, um, you're gonna go 12 times. <laughs> You'll go seven times, palm muted, one time not palm muted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then finish it off with uh, 12 times palm muted. Then we jump right into the solo. So really you're dealing with two chords, the D and the B. All right, get ready for some fun riffs. This, if I had to say what it reminds me of, it would be Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. The, the phrasing of these uh, solos. 9G, we're going to bend a whole step. That's a two fret bend. I like to back that uh, with the middle finger to help support it. Then go 7BE. Um, and hit the 7 on the E twice. So Unison bend, 7E, 10B. And you can experiment with fingering. I put first and third. But you can do first and fourth. It doesn't matter. Whatever you put down. Um, I'd back it with a finger or two if you can. Bend uh, the the tenth fret B a whole step as you hit the seven E. Ten B. We're gonna jump up with the index to ten B. Hammer twelve. Pull ten to eleven G. Nice little subgroups, right? A lot of times you go from rest to rest. Um, you have subgroups. If there is no rest, you can put them wherever you want, where the riff sounds good. So we, in my mind, we got two riffs, right? And then fingering, change it where you see fit, but I did write what to me made the most sense. This was really cool. 13G, 15B, and 14 high E. And what you're going to do, 
and strum it and bend it a half step twice. And then 12B three times. Right, so you got. And then from there, that last 12, think about it like this. Very cool. So you're going one, two, three, 13G half step bend. That's a one fret bend. Sounds like this, right? And then 12D half step bend. Um, 27 seconds in, 7G. This is similar to the way we started this, just, just back a whole step. Bend, and then 5BE. And then unison bend, the 8B, 5E. Hit them both, bend the B. 8B pick, and then quick bend release to 5B. Okay, then we're going to go 12 on the high E, 13 on the B. Experiment with fingering. I put uh, third and second. This is cool. Do that twice and then move it up a whole step to 15, 14, but bend just the 15th fret a half step. Right? So we have. Then short rest. Do it again with the bend, then without the bend. And then back to 13, 12, half step bend the B. Bend it, hit it, and then five times. 35 seconds in, 5A slide to 7, and then pick the 7. This pass is really quick, by the way. So after that, 9G hammer 11 to 10B. That in itself could be a subgroup. 13B. 10E, and it's a unison bend, so we're going to bend, hit them both, but bend the uh, 13B, hold it, strum two times afterwards, do that two times. Okay, so. And then one more bend into this. 12G and B, kind of a slash sounding thing. You're going to bend, release both those. That can be tricky on two strings. Um, so I would back it with both these fingers, the middle and the index, as a bar. Bend, release, pull off to tens on the GB. So slow, it's... Here in two notes, and then 12D, and then shift that third finger down to 12GB, to 10GB. So, that's nice too. To 12D, back to 10GB, back to 12D. So you have a little pivot there, right? 40 seconds in, we're going to bend the 12G. I like the third finger here. Bend it, hold it as you play the 13B twice. And that's a whole step bend. Then do the bend again on the 12G to the 13B. Top of page 3, bend the 12G again. Hold it, play the 13B three times. So we had two hits, one hit, three hit on the 13s. 12G, pre-bend release, pull off to 10. That's a mouthful, but all it is, you're already bent. So pick, release, pull to 10, to 12G. Um, I follow the picking on this, starting with an upstroke. 10G, 12D, twice. And then pull off to 10D, to 12A. That's a cool run. 10D, hammer 12. So, to 11G. I, um, that 11G, I'd go up to 12D. So... 9G, bend, hold, 10, uh, 7E, 10B, slide to 12, sounds like this, and then 10, hammer 12, pull 10 on the B, 
to 11 G. So it's 13 G and 15 B. This is similar to something we did earlier, but this time it's just the two strings. Bend them both a half step twice to 12 B. From there, 14 G, you're gonna hammer 16 to 14 G, 16 D. From there, 22 B and 19 high E, unison bend. You're gonna hit them both, bend the B string a whole step. Okay, then you'll hear on the clean, I'm actually on my clean, but I've got some dirt in it. Um, you're going to do this little clean thing. It goes... One second here. It's a B2 bar chord. Bar the second fret, A string all the way down, 4D and 4G. Make sure that you can hear all of them, right? But go D, G, A, and then strum the last three strings. Do that twice, so it's... And then, section three, a minute 13 in, we're gonna go bar 12th fret G and B. Quick rest, 14 G and B. Let it ring, and then 13, 12, GB. Quick rest to 14, GB. So you have... Back to 13, 12. And then 11, 12, 11, GB, E. It looks like a D major chord, right? Technically, that's a B major, so... But you can relate it to uh, the D major. Probably be easier in your mind to see it that way. this now it was dang it do that twice so we have I'm getting I'm confusing myself minute 30 in 15B, 14E, it's more, a little on the cleaner sound here, but, um, you know, still don't have the, just don't have a whole lot of fuzz going, which is your distortion. Um, yeah, so it's, here we go, 15B, 14E, and then 15, 15, Back to 1514 with a quick rest. So rest, ring, rest, and then double 15s to 1514 to from the bottom string up the high E, 1717 barred, 18G. And that's basically like an A major. So you have um, solo number two comes in, and what it is. Is basically uh, the same as solo one, but I put the timestamps because uh, it does the 19 second timestamp twice, 27 second timestamp once, and then the 35 second timestamp to the end of that solo. You'll see some more repeats, and then section three, two minutes 32 seconds in. All this is is the A5. It's uh, open A, two D, palm muted four times. And then it ends. I didn't know if you wanted this, and it's tough. And it's, I mean, they probably sped it up in the studio. There's some super high octaves going on. Probably octave pedal. Actually, it has, uh, actually, an octave on a synth. Um, you're going to go 2G, or 2D, open B, 2D, and. No, 2D, open B, 2G, and 2D. Think in groups of fours, it's... it's... Supposed to be a lot cleaner, though. And then 
in 2BG. Here's our next group of four. And then open 2BG. So. Open EB, 2GD. That's our next four. And then 2E, open B. Let me see. And then 2, B, and G. So, let's see. Yeah. 5E, open B. 2G twice. 7E, open B. Um, 7-5-E, open B, 7-D. And then end with this. 14-G, 12-14-B, and 14-E. And I tried to build that as a chord even though it's cramped. Or bar it. Uh, that's kind of tough though. Either way. So the frets are so small up here, you got to decide, you know, what's the most comfortable way. And I got a little bit bigger fingers. So it kind of depends on different things. But I did put the fingering just so you have a guide, Matt. So anyways, I had a blast doing this. Very abstract request. I love getting those. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it, man.